What's up guys, it's Tom with Ferris Engineering and today we're going to be installing an AOS on your Shelby GT350 GT350R. Alright, air oil separator, why you want it in your car? Basically, you don't want oil inside of your intake. Uh, you don't want oil vapor, you don't want liquid oil, you don't want any of that. All right? Oil is going to cause, uh, can potentially cause detonation and that leads to very bad things down the road. So what we want to do is install this AOS, filter all that junk out, and have nice clean air for your engine to breathe. All right, tools needed to install the AOS kit. You need a tape measure, you need a pair of hose cutters, four millimeter Allen key or socket, eight millimeter socket, a ratchet, and 10 millimeter socket. All right, first things first, General overview of where we're going to be working, just the top of the engine bay. So you want to obviously open the hood so we can have access to all this stuff. If you have an engine cover on a car, go ahead and remove that uh, so that you can see the, man or the intake manifold here. Now, what you are essentially looking at is the PCV tube on this side, which is the passenger side, and the engine breather tube on the driver's side. And this is what it'll look like from the factory. Uh, probably, most likely. Um, if you have the optional Ford Performance AOS kit, it will be installed essentially the same way. Uh, you'll just have this guy uh, in line with the two tubes. So it'll be connected basically like this. And this guy will be over there on the shock tower. Um, they are held on by some plastic clips and one 10 millimeter nut on the uh, air box on the driver's side. So what we wanna do is go ahead and remove all of this stuff, and then we can get to installing our AOS. All right, so let's go ahead and remove these tubes. Uh, they have these little blue uh, tangs on the quick connects, and you just wanna pull them over and pull the fitting off. Let's see here. Uh, this guy right here, you wanna just kind of move it over like that. Brings me to the next step. Go ahead and remove the uh, coil pack covers. If they're on the car still. All right. So first order of business. We're on the passenger side shock tower. Uh, we want to remove two bolts. Uh, basically, this ground bolt right here, and there is a bolt uh, holding this wiring harness right here that is right behind uh, this AC line going into the shock tower uh, from this direction. All right, got the two bolts out. Now let's go assemble the AOS. Okay, grab your AOS and flip it over like so. You can obviously do this on a workbench if you'd like. Uh, the bracket that I have in my hand here is going to be installed in this orientation with the long leg on the top, if you could see that. All right, so. What we want to do is bolt the bracket to the middle three bolt holes on the AOS. And in order to do that, we're going to get our 16 millimeter uh, button head cap screws with 12 millimeter washers. And all right, so here are the three bolts. Again, we're using the middle three bolts on the back of the AOS. And here's what it looks like for reference. And it's kind of on an angle, just so for uh, orientation purposes. You wanna tighten these three bolts to six foot pounds, and then we'll be right back and we'll install it to the car. All right, so we got the three bolts torqued for our AOS bracket. Now we are going to bolt it in place and line up the two bracket holes with the two bolt holes that need the factory bolts reinstalled. We're gonna go for the this guy on top of the uh, shock tower, we're gonna go over the ground uh, or the ground strap. Yeah. Okay, so our AOS is now installed on the car, nice and stout. Next order of business is to remove the factory PCV out of the valve cover. Um, 
It's as simple as that. Just twist it out and uh, it's got this uh, nice little square edge here. Um, use a wrench if you need to use a wrench. Ours is pretty uh, well worn. So we're going to set this aside for later. And what we want to do is take our OEM, uh, not OEM, why am I saying OEM? Non-OEM adapter uh, and install it into the port we just removed the PCV from. And it does uh, also have the same type of retention tang um, in the uh, machined into the fitting. So you want to turn it until you hear a nice positive click and then you'll know it's in. Obviously it won't back out uh, easily as well or it'll take some resistance. So we got that installed. Now what we want to do is cut a length of hose that will connect this fitting to the AOS. All right, so we have the AOS and we have our adapter fitting installed into the valve cover. What we need to do is basically get uh, the hoses hooked up in a way so that the AOS is basically in line with the path going back to the intake. Okay, so we're gonna have PCV air coming out of the valve cover, fil going into the AOS, filtered in the AOS, and then back into the intake, all right? So we're gonna reserve these front two fittings, uh, the two that are closest to the front of the vehicle for the PCV system, um, and the rear two fittings that are closest to the rear of the vehicle, that way, uh, for the engine breather side of things. So, step one, I'm gonna grab my cheat sheet here. All right, so we're looking at this guy here, the second from the front, okay? Um, and we're gonna want to cut a six and a half inch hose, uh, six and a half inch length of half inch ID hose. Um, these measurements are basically, should just be a general guideline. They'll be very close, but always measure yourself uh, before you cut it so that you have the correct lengths. Um, like I said, there could be some variation in your car versus ours. Um, slip that over just like that, and then slip it over onto the AOS. Make sure you got full engagement on both. Next, grab another length of half inch hose, and you're gonna wanna cut this half inch hose to uh, approximately five and a quarter inches. All right, and we're gonna slip this guy over the frontmost fitting on the AOS and just let it kind of hang out in the air right here. All right, next, you're gonna wanna grab the half inch to dash six O-ring fitting that is supplied in your kit. And you're gonna wanna get the uh, adapter, the PCV valve adapter uh, as well. Yours will be a anodized color, not raw like this just so that you're aware. Same with the adapter in the, in the valve cover. Now, one side is threaded and the other side is a quarter turn, just like the PCV. So as you can imagine, the PCV valve is gonna go into the quarter turn and your uh, dash six fitting is gonna go into the threaded portion. Um, this is an O-ring boss fitting. So basically you wanna turn it till the O-ring is engaged, bottom the fitting out and just by hand, that's it. And you can see I just did it right there. And that's it for that side. Then we're gonna grab our PCV right here. And same as before, just by hand, quarter turn. Make sure the tang right there is uh, engaged, if you will, and we're good to go. All right, so we have our little adapter block here assembled. And what we wanna do is cut another, uh, I'm sorry, cut a piece of five eighths inch hose. Gotta grab a tape measure. Uh, about four and a half inches long, All right? Four and a half inches long, and it's gonna go into the uh, port or the nipple on the intake manifold that's just behind the throttle body. Um, again, it's the one that, that connected initially to the tube that we removed at the very beginning of the video. Once you have that on that intake manifold port, you're gonna to wanna to take the hose that goes to the forwardmost fitting, or the only one that's left uh, for these two, and connect obviously the half inch nipple on uh, the one side to the half inch hose and the 5 8 hose to the PCV, just like that. 
All right, so we have the uh, PCV side of, this, of the equation all done, right? So we get these two hoses uh, all hooked up. Now we have the rear two ports uh, on the AOS that we need to sort, and that's gonna be for the engine breather side, like I said. Um, I have an 11 and a half and a 12 inch uh, length of hose. Uh, that's gonna be half inch hose. What I wanna do is take the 11 and a half inch and slide that over the fitting for on the AOS that's uh, second to the rearmost. And then on the rearmost fitting, you wanna take the half inch, or I'm sorry, half inch, one and two, you know, 12 inch hose, 12 inch long, half inch hose. Oh my gosh. Uh, which brings me to my next point here. If you want silicone or like PB blaster or something can help uh, with getting these things on there if you need to. Um, these are gonna be pretty much uh, where they need to be. If, uh, if you want, you can cut them a hair long because you don't know actually where they're terminating until I tell you uh, later on in the video. So that's up to you, but these should be pretty much the perfect length. But basically you want them pointed at this stud right here on the intake manifold. All right, here we are on the passenger side. What we want to do is grab or cut two lengths of 5 8 hose, all right? And the first length is going to be 21 inches and a quarter. That one is going to go on the valve cover breather or engine breather uh, on the valve cover. The second length of hose is going to be 23 and three quarters long. That one's gonna go onto the nipple that is on the intake tube, not the manifold, but the intake tube, which is right here. Once you have those both connected, go ahead and take, uh, grab two of the reducers that are included in the kit, uh, the 5 eighths to half inch reducers and install them into either end of the either of the other ends uh, of the two hoses you just installed. And you're gonna wanna point them right at the half inch hoses we have coming towards this direction. That's at the intake manifold stud right over there. All right, so included in the kit are gonna be four, four of these uh, loop, thank God that didn't fall down, four loop clamps, all right? Um, Two of them are going to be a 5 8 inch uh, inner diameter, and the others, I believe, are going to be a 1 inch inner diameter. So, the 1 inch inner diameter clamps are for this stud here, uh, the passenger side stud on the intake manifold. And these, I will say, are uh, optional, if you will. If you like the way it looks, then that's fine. Um, basically, you want to slide the loop clamps over the hose, and then you'll notice there's a flange with the bolt hole, and you want to put them both over the stud, and then grab a M6 by 1.0 serrated flange nut that's included in the hardware kit, and just loosely thread it on the stud. You don't want to tighten anything down yet. The reason I say these are uh, optional is, um, I don't know, you might not like the way it looks. Um, so that portion is kind of up to you, uh, or this portion is up to you. I will say the other ones, I do recommend uh, installing for sure because they will keep uh, the hoses nice and tidy and against uh, the intake manifold or the engine. These guys um, just kind of keep everything combed in the right direction, but again, it's up to you. All right, so on the driver's side, um, these are the ones I will say are mandatory, um, just because you need at least these to keep the, the hoses in check. Uh, otherwise, they'll just be flopping around. You'll see this recessed portion in the middle of the reducer and the loop clamp will fit perfectly in that recess. Um, just like with the, uh, other, the bigger one inch clamps, uh, you want the, uh, the ear with the mounting hole facing each other. And we're gonna line these up the same way, right over the stud. Push them down. Grab your M6 serrated flange nut. Get that started. They are kind of springy, so you gotta get some pressure on them to get them to cooperate. There you go. And now you got a nice little tidy setup here. All right, so 
We got the loop clamp set up. Now these two hoses that are coming off of the AOS, um, just the way that they are lined up is the way that we're going to install them onto these two hoses here. So the absolute rearmost fitting on the AOS, this hose here, can't see it on the AOS because I'm zoomed in here, is going to connect to the valve cover breather hose. Uh, I use silicone on that, that's why it went on so easy. <laughs> Um, the hose going to the intake is going to connect to the second to rearmost fitting on the AOS, and that's this guy here. And that's it. All right, once you have all the hose connections done, like we just did, uh, feel free to go ahead and torque the nuts on your loop clamps down to about six foot pounds like so, keep them in place. I gotta still do the other side. Uh, I would recommend some zip ties that are supplied in the kit to go on all of the 5 8 inch connections, minus these two up here, these are very tight. But uh, because the um, factory connections for 5 8 are meant for a quick connect, um, basically uh, there's nothing preventing them from slipping off. But I have found that if you just get a zip tie on here, pull it tight, um, it will basically seal up perfectly and you won't have any issues. Um, that being said, the other half inch connections, they're fine. No need to worry about it there. So that being said, we're all good to go. The, installs, the install is complete. All right, so once we have all the connections made and you've got the hoses kind of looking the right way to, or to your liking, um, that's gonna wrap it up for the install. As a general rule of thumb, we do recommend you uh, check and empty the AOS at least uh, once a month, just to make sure it doesn't back up and get full of oil. But with that, is going to wrap it up for the install. If you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, be sure to email us at sales at barris-engineering.com. Until next time, we'll see you later.